Hello everybody and welcome back to Military Aviation History. I'm your host Bismarck and I just released the Inside the Cockpit episode on the Messerschmitt ME262. This is part one and part two is already out for patrons and channel members as well. Simple reality is when making these videos I essentially have to condense a shoot that took us about three to four hours per aircraft into 20 to well 30 minutes episodes. This means that stuff has to be cut. And this is also a good thing because oftentimes I ramble, I make incoherent points, or I just go off on a tangent. And let's be honest, that might be interesting to some of you, but it doesn't really do any credit to the episode. And this video, really, I want to take an opportunity to publish a little scene that I filmed at the museum, the Deutsche Museum in Schleisheim on the 262 on its significance because while I couldn't make it fit in part one nor part two, I think it's actually something that might merit a discussion. There's many things we can talk about here. There's um, technological progress, there's the shift from the piston to the jet engine and so on and so forth. It's a massive topic and I really just focus on one specific aspect to it of why I believe the uh, 262 is significant. Now, feel free to add to that, feel free to disagree, to agree, bring your own data, bring your own point, bring your own sources. Just have a nice little community discussion on that. And some of the footage that you'll be seeing right now, you might have already seen glimpses of it in part one. I'm just gonna cut it all together so it's nice little coherently going from A to B. And yeah, as always, let's play that and have a great day, good hunting, and see you in the sky. As the aircraft is brought to the front lines, they are now used as fighter bombers with mixed success. However, as a fighter platform, uh, the aircraft shows remarkable promise. On the 18th of July, uh, only a little while after becoming operational, an ME262 succeeds in shooting down a Mosquito. For the Germans, this is a telling success as the Mozzie was a constant annoyance that had yet to be uh, countered by the Luftwaffe. Thus, while the bomber operations run in France on a relatively small scale, another combat trial is running at home with the Erprobungskommando. Uh, this is later known as Commando Ronovatny and also sets the routes for uh, JG7. It takes another two months into uh, September 1944 for the aircraft to be fully cleared for frontline service. And even that is with a few caveats. Again, the engines, the gear and the weapons remain a cause for concern. This tells us that the aircraft was not yet ready in a traditional sense. At this point, Messerschmitt also has yet to provide a trainer version of the aircraft, making conversion to it even more difficult. Until now, no pilot had experience with a jet aircraft and this again causes delays and prevents a rapid introduction into the force. At this point, the production of the ME262 is taking blows and decentralization thereof has already begun. This is made even worse when the Allies start to push into Germany in late 1945. A whole production highway between Stuttgart and Munich in the south of Germany is established and this does give the Germans the theoretical numbers that they need to put out a reasonably strong fighting force. All in all about 6,000 Jumo engines are built, around 1,400 airframes are completed. Yet only about 400 planes make it as one finalized piece to the squadrons. And this is because the decentralization and the improvisation, the air attacks, as well as the breakdown in communication and production quality makes it ever harder to push out aircraft to where they are needed. While many experienced pilots fly them, this is not enough to turn the tide. It does cause consternation among Allied pilots early on, but the Luftwaffe cannot capitalize on this. Germany cannot train sufficient pilots to a minimum degree of competency, it cannot uh, finalize its production of the vast majority of aircraft, and it can hardly fly the existing machines due to a lack of fuel and constant failures in the engines. Uh, this paired with uh, sort of the very aggressive tactics used by the Allies causes a piecemeal attrition among the 262 units that prevents a buildup of the force. This doesn't mean that the jet has no impact. On the contrary, on the tactical level, the aircraft can still achieve some success, provided we temper our expectations. Success is heavily dependent on the situation, context and the skill of the operator. Uh, if he goes out there, shoots down maybe one or two aircraft, makes it back in one piece, the aircraft itself has fulfilled its role. 
What it cannot do is provide a strategic shift in the air war. Because on the one side, it is a complex machine. Many vulnerable parts built to varying degrees of quality. And on the other, you've got allied air superiority, even air supremacy. And there is no way Germany can compete with that at this point. Never mind the technology or the skill of the pilots. The industry has been shattered. The fuel is not there. The pilots are on their last breath if they're still alive. And in fact, it, that they even managed to put up a fight is remarkable at this stage. And in my opinion, the true significance of the 262. It proves to be sufficiently sophisticated, lethal when used to good effect, and in its own way tremendously concerning to the Allies. While there is no chance that this aircraft could have changed the outcome of the war, it did offer up a convincing enough performance showing that the jet was in fact the future. Most other countries had already dabbled into jet engines, but with the exception of Germany and Britain, that also put its, uh, into service a very small number of Gloucester Meteor jets, there has yet to be even the onset of a coherent shift. World War II would be decided in the air with piston power, and as we can see in Korea, the actual shift to the jet turbine will still take some time, but the 262 was the stepping stone, as it proved, under the most dire combat conditions and more than any of its contemporary jet projects at the time that the military value of the jet was not to be ignored.